Alright, hey everybody. Um, I realize that I haven't been switching up my uh, avatar lately. Uh, one second. So yeah, we're going to be doing Defiance first, and then we will be getting into Valheim. Hey! The Empire's here. Watch out. I don't know if I made that too long. I think it's like 15 seconds, but it seems longer. Um, one more second. Jeez. Um, I kind of was having a sneezing bit right there for a minute. Um, but yeah, we're going to be getting into Defiance to start, and then we will be doing Valheim after. Probably move this a little bit more. Just trying to... I'm always figuring out where I want my mic during the uh, stream, and it always gets in the way, so... Um... Yeah, let's just get into Defiance. We're going to be doing our... Oh, shoot, that's what I wanted to do, but it... I'm going to have to do it. When we get to it. Um, we're, we're going to be doing our little interviews while we play as well today, as I was doing last week, and yeah. But I'm doing good. Um, there's some things to talk about for Valheim. Uh, a lot happened over overnight. Um... <laughs> So yeah, there's some stuff to talk about. And I forgot to set my alarm this morning, so I woke up late. That's why we're starting at 11.30 today. Passed out on my uh, futon in my streaming room and forgot to go to bed. Because <laughs> this is where I watch TV and stuff too, so... Anyway... Let me get some music on here so we have something in the background. Also, we have the Valheim uh, command set up for later uh, so that we can easily access everything. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. We need to get rid of some stuff in our inventory. Um, is this our next mission? Yes. This was the next mission. We have a couple of side stuff, but I think I was going to do that off stream. Let me see what this one is. Cooper has gotten reports of an Irathian ver- oh, okay. This is the one- this is one of the, um, story missions- that connected Defiance to the show. That's what I was trying to say. Er, words already. Um, let's see. We have a bunch of skill points. We have all this. We got a lot of stuff, actually. So let's get rid of some of the stuff that we have. Oh, God. Pressing all kinds of wrong buttons. Uh, how do I sell? There we go. I can't tell which is what I have. Just gonna get rid of that. Yep. So how was your night and start of your day so far? Um, nah. 
Detonators are nice. Probably keep it just in case. I don't really like rocket launchers or subs or shotguns. Just basically getting rid of everything. BMGs. Hmm. Detonator, sure, we'll keep that one. Pistols, vectors. Jeez, oh, I'm just trying to get rid of as much stuff as I can. It looks nice outside right now, um, but I'm not sure what the temperature is today. Um, but that's good that you got uh, some good weather. Uh, semi-auto snipers. Yeah, sure, why not? We'll keep it. Shotguns we don't need. Detonator. BMG. BMG. Uh, sniper. Shotgun. That should clear a good amount of stuff that we had. What is our inventory like right now, anyway? Whoa, what? Wait a second, when did we hit... 750 what hold on a second wait wait what um so yeah apparently that's a thing i don't even remember when we hit to 750 was i just not paying attention What is our gear at? Um, hmm. Let's see. We're almost at 800 anyway, so. Huh. I don't remember doing that. How much space do we have in here anyway? 25 of 41, alright. Key code's maxed out. Oh, okay. Last time I knew we were at like 700. I mean, our gear shows that we're, we were pretty close, but I don't remember 694 is the highest. But I don't remember getting up to 750. Alright. Take it, I guess. <laughs> We're just going to get some of these lock boxes. Oh, okay. Um, ooh. Melee damage after shield. Oh, okay. Take four or less damage with shield recharging. Mm. Detonator, rocket launcher. I'm just going through the stuff that I just got. Because we got more shit to get rid of. Detonator, pistol, this is all the same. I think. Pyro grenades. Ooh. Also, I did a little remapping with the uh, buttons on Valheim. I know I, I, we're not there yet. And we're on defiance, but I did a little button remapping since I have two more extra buttons on my mouse. Um, I was able to put the run and crouch buttons on there because I absolutely hate pressing shift while trying to press WASD. That is like the most awkward position. Any redeemables? I have all this stuff. XP, Ego. I've had this for years, though. So, I mean, we could get some of the stuff and really up our stuff <laughs> if we wanted. Get an extra 30% to make it 300% XP gain? That would be interesting. I sound really awful right now. It sounds like I'm... Uh... 
Um, we also have a bunch of skill points to put in, but like, what's the point right now when everything is kind of covered? Um, increase the damage to your health from incendiary attacks. Hmm. Reduce incoming incendiary. Drop gear. Ooh, that one's actually pretty nice. Forgot about that. And melee kill, recharge part of your shield. Uh, yeah. There's stuff. We have 20 ego points. I don't know what to put it into right now. Um, do I want to do the season one mission or do I want to do the main mission? Hmm. I sound horrible right now. My nose is so stuffed for some reason after that sneezing fit. Um, da -dum, da -dum. I don't know what I want to do. What should we do? Um, this one. Just bio grenades uh, for the special episode stuff. And for here, a Blitzer SMG. This one's a crazy mission. Because I believe we go down here and do this fun thing. That's the one I'm thinking of, yeah. This is the long mission. <laughs> Which advances us in the story. All right. Time to go. Hold on a second. I need to turn this down a little bit. Yes, that's the one on the docks. Why does it sound like my audio is quiet? Because it probably is. It is. I wonder. I'm trying to turn things down. All right, let's. I just want to turn it up slightly more. We're slightly down. <laughs> it's hard to tell without the engine running. But yes, this is the one with the dock. <sighs> Sorry. Getting all this kind of fuzz and stuff on my windscreen, it's really driving me nuts. Yes, this is the one that I used to die a lot on, but since we've been leveling up pretty good, I think we should be fine. Keyword is think. Not that we will, but just we should. Actually, I think it's this mission first. Uh, this spot right here. Up on the hill with these, and then we go there. Really? A commercial already? God. We're just everywhere. A couple of Raider dudes up there have access codes to the communication hub at Larkspur. With those codes, we can get the lowdown on every deal these raiders have made, including where they're selling the Matrix. Alright. This is a fun one. Yeah, I forgot how OP we are now. <laughs> Damn, I wish I had that many people. I don't even... Oh, you suck. It's been a long time since I had any friends in this game. 
And when I say that, it's because the last time I had friends was when the show was still active and uh, around. So <laughs> it's been a long time since I've actually gotten to run with anybody. Seriously, right now. Uh, not usually for me. Usually it was way too many people, to be honest. It depended on the time of day, too. Like, during the day, it might have been a little quieter, but there was still a lot of people running around. Um, and if it was... At night, it was like a non-stop storm of people that you could never get anything done because people would steal your kills. Sorry, if I keep pausing, it's because I'm trying not to sneeze. Uh, let's see actually if we can turn our music back on. There we go. Oh god, yeah. I loved... It got hard to play though. During those arc falls. I haven't done an arc, right. a major arc fall in a Head long time. I kind of miss them though, at the same time. There we go. I'm trying to fix my setup here. I'm getting a little. Yeah. Alright. Arm was starting to hurt. I've set up my mouse so that it's the long way, or my, my, my mouse pad. So it's a long way. The game lagging at all? I can't tell. So I'm looking at two screens at once and it looks like they're... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm always trying to see if it's lagging. This is the one that's a pain. We have to do this one, then we go down. I think. Or we do this. We go back to Shondu's and then we do the big mission. I don't even remember. How it works? Get to that hub and I'll download the data. Then we'll blow these raiders' secrets. This is another water. annoying one, though. Okay, I'm sending the code to your ego. Yes, it's uh, shutting down on April 29th, but we are playing for some nostalgia and to have a lot of fun before it goes away and we can never play it again. So I would rather play it now than never play it again. And hey, welcome in. Um... Oh, I wasn't sure who was talking for a second. Apologies, I didn't see that it was you. I think you're new here, or you've been here. Oh god, don't forgive me. I'm just having a morning right now. <laughs> you've been here before, yes? I'm stupid? Okay, I'm just stupid. I haven't even gotten my main character to 6,000 yet, and probably don't know if I'm going to. It sucks that it's shutting down. Yes. 
right now we're doing i still love it too uh that's why i want to play it as much as i can oh you're right there and you're not even shooting at me we've been doing really well with our leveling up that we're just like rolling through everything <laughs> as you can see right here uh, just plowing through really can you get out from behind hello Where are you? I didn't never. I mean, they were annoying, but I appreciate them. That's the thing. They were never so annoying that I didn't want to play. I'm starting the transfer. Oh, they keep trying to push. Um. their new game or their other games on us like we want them and everybody on facebook that i've noticed so far has just been saying uh no give us defiance <laughs> nobody wants it to shut down but they're shutting it down for no reason it's super stupid and why i'm promoting their game on stream is beyond me it's not that it's their game. Technically, it's Tryon Worlds. And Tryon sold it to Game Ago. And Game Ago decided to F us over a knee. And, you know. I just realized I don't need to be shooting at them. I need to be doing this. Whoops. <laughs> I will get to comments in a second. I just need to do this. Can you not? We've already killed 500 raiders on this new character. Hello? Oh. Oh, I'm gonna shoot it. Okay, the connection is bad. I never actually got to play the uh, remake version of it because I never cared for it. <laughs> Listening to all the improvements, quote unquote, um, I found them really stupid. So I was like, no, I'll stick with this one. As long as they don't shut it down. Eh. I know there's something I'm supposed to be doing here. Where are they? There we go. That was simple. <laughs> Too simple. Transfer complete. I've got all the info I wanted. Oh, and it looks like the deal with the Matrix is going down at San Quentin. I'll tell Cooper. Um. Wait a second, I know we have some new stuff here, but where is Did the next mission be popping up? I think it's going to pop up as soon as we drive away from here. Um... Hello? course Time to go. gonna do it I guarantee it's gonna tell me to go the other way
we're gonna go do that uh, season one mission because apparently it doesn't want to give me the main mission. Why is it not giving me the main mission? <laughs> am I just stupid or am I overlooking it? You son of a... See, I knew it was going to do that. I knew it. I knew it. This is the one with the docks. So yeah. Really? Really? We've all been complaining about it that we need single player game a go. Yes, I'm talking to you. We want single player on this game. We want to play. We don't want it shut down. Just because you think it's a good idea doesn't make it so. Oh god. That's what everybody wants. We want it as a solo game, but nope. I don't care if I have to restart, because that's what I'm doing right now. I'm playing the entire thing over again. If you can give me the game I thought that was in game for a second. Jesus Christ, love drive. Yeah, I'd love to play this again. Uh, solo, single player. Um, is that the one that I think it is? I believe that's the season two mission that I just passed. Whoops. Son of a. See, I knew where I was going. Ah, here we go. Cooper has gotten reports of an Irassian vagrant causing trouble in Madeira. She has been... She has... Uh, she may be an escaped prisoner. She... So find out who she is before something happens. Rin! New Yay! Take a look around and see what you see. Man, I miss Rin. Let me take a moment to have a conversation. No. I, I don't want a conversation. I want you to shush. Thank you. Yes, I just yelled it. Holy crap, we're really leveling up right now. You know what? I don't know if it's shared on both, though. Ugh. I think it's shared on both. I'm going to use it for my 6,000 run. The plus 30%. Cause it's going to take a little longer. I talk to everything. I, I talk to commercials on TV too. I tell it to F off. I tell it to shut up. I tell it to do everything. I tell it to go away. Sometimes I'll even act like a two year old and go la 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 la. I'm not listening. <laughs> I try to make it go away as fast as possible. Or I'll talk over it like a two-year-old. Here we go. There's no one here. The fire burned out several hours ago, and it appears the camp was tossed. Someone was looking for the camper. Let's take a look around. The ground here is drenched with hellbug pheromone. I wonder if this is connected to the abnormal hellbug behavior that Cooper mentioned. Oh, Jesus. I am sending your data. I am sending information to your ego device that will allow you to trace it. Please see where it leads. You had to do it when it was talking, really? <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, let me try and get this back. Yeah, no worries, Hane. Do what you gotta do. Yes, I know you are. Love drive. So there's some things that you missed yesterday, uh, Love Drive. So I'm going to do this once for you and you can do it if you want, but I'm going to, if you want to say anything that you were going to say last week or during my birthday stream. You can say that now, and I'll let you, because <laughs> it's it's awesome, and it needs to be done, <laughs> and I want to hear it one more time. Hayne, can I ask you, are you from the UK? <laughs> Just curious. <laughs> Literally curious right now if you're from the UK. <laughs> Close enough. I got another European. Well, I never have anybody from the US here, so <laughs> that's why I'm asking. <laughs> I was just curious. Literally, all I have are my UK viewers, and wow, those bodies are Earth Republic soldiers. They must have been after whoever was camping. Let's take a look around. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus! I love it. Ooh, that sounds really, really, really good. And it's only 12 o'clock in the afternoon right now. You're making me really hungry. You like that? You like my birthday command? Oh, Jesus. Everything's somewhat in a better spot, but I still need to figure out my audio levels. Someone got away from this fight. Somehow. Oh yeah, it's it's alive and well. Um I actually got an upgraded version of Windows 10. So I was Windows 10 Home edition, and because the key didn't work, they gave me Windows 10 Pro. So technically I got a little bit more expensive with my Windows 10 and now it works because uh, my motherboard change kind of screwed over my Windows 10 activation and yeah so now I have some better stuff <laughs> take care Hane Rathus Paraba just hailed me and said there's one hell of a gunfight going on near his ranch it says E-Reps are there but they aren't Grant's men get over there and find out what's going on Yes, I didn't men mention that before, so, uh... Right now I'm on console. Um... I actually don't have Xbox Live, so I can't play... Oh, see? It's doing the screen thing again. <clears throat> I just noticed it when I was jumping down. That's interesting. Yeah, that's why we're moving a little easier with our mouse. Mm. We should take out this first.
that would be awesome uh i mean if you still want to i'm gonna be on this until it it closes so if you've ever downloaded again let me know and play that goes along with anybody else that wants to hop on with me i am fully open to it because this game is enjoyable Hey! I need to get rid of that one. That one's gonna be a more pain in the ass than these ones. Oh my god. No, no, no. Shit. Woo! Run, 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 run. The one game, though, or this thing, is really hard to handle when you're or, and uh, stream and talk and see. I can't even words. You. I'm trying to take care of this because if not, these things are going to interfere with the, uh, with, with the, uh, mission. So I need to get rid of it ASAP. Otherwise I think we're going to have hell bugs more than we normally would. <laughs> I hate these. Oh, okay. Did that seriously just disappear on me? Huh? That's the sample we need. Nice work. What? The hell? Hey! Don't you dare. Let's see if we can do it from a different angle. Seriously? I think it's because it's clipping into that and it's not. Really? Damn it. I'm not going to be able to. The E reps must be controlling the bugs with those devices. They get such a thing. If we take them out, the bugs will turn on the soldiers. Woo! Yeah, that's if I can get to them. The brass wants you intact, so just come out. Come and get your hot dog! Rin! <laughs> I miss Rin. Oh, God damn it. All right. I'm not helping you do stacko. Uh oh, we're stuck. Eh. I hate this one because it's like stuck right in the back here. Now. Detecting a nearby seismic disturbance. It's right under your feet. Get ready. Stacco, a monarch. Monarchs suck. Yes, they do. Oh, I need to get behind it. Woo! How do I roll? That's how I roll. <laughs> Woo, there we go. I remember having to hit the weak points, and it's so hard to hit the weak points. Eh. 
Dodge and roll, dodge and roll, dodge and roll. Ooh! Oh god, and I'm out of ammo! Oh my god, did I just get flung out there? I need some ammo. Oh my god! Um. I literally have nothing to kill this thing with. Oh my god! <laughs> Helping me was honorable and attention with but I am not going to prison when data put it down. Really there's gonna be a commercial playing right when I can't do anything about it. Judging from your get up. At America's health No Oh my god, no really Son of a bitch, you mother. I wanted that cutscene so that I could put it on YouTube. And then I pressed the escape button and it completely backed out of that. <sighs> Fuck. Really? Is there any way I can play that over? Power above me, but Aaron and Ren will be in touch to help investigate this Hellbug controlling Project Piper shit. No, I pressed the escape button and I thought it would pause it and not skip it. <sighs> what did me dirty was Spotify with its stupid ass commercial in the middle of a cutscene. You dirty, 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 jacking whore. Yes, I just said all that. <laughs> Now it's not even showing up over there. Really? Okie dokie. On that note. Sure. Is this thing going to pop up again for me? Can I even finish it? Of course not. Of course not. Cause it's broken. You don't even care about your game. You care about your other games. Shut this one down, cause you don't want to fix this one. So, yeah, I was going to say something, but I'll probably wait until we get to the other game. Oh my god, move. Move! Get out of there. Ah, <sighs> yay. Well, that event was kind of broken, so <laughs> I think that needs to be fixed. What is this? Is this a VBI? This is just a conflict. Eh, I don't feel like doing it. There's no real purpose in doing any contracts, really. Oh, sweet Jesus, what did I... What the hell? I've never seen this. I've never seen this one before. I'm totally doing this. something you can give me this is a crossover event I know what this is for but I just never seen this one before keep watch yeah the infected oh god 
Maybe I have done this one before. I don't think I've seen this one in years, to be honest. This is old school right here. No. The division is. <laughs> this, well, depending on which enemies, I guess. Ooh, shit. Ow. Ow, I don't like these. Also, I put a new redemption in for Friday games. Um, it's kind of a little random, but... For anyone that wants to pick the one of the games for Fridays, um, those will be available. I don't know when I'm going to actually start doing the Friday stuff though so I'm not sure I want to do anything different this Friday but yeah at least I can kill these guys in a few seconds it's not like the division 2 Jesus division 2 is like super spongy I'm trying to get a headshot so that I can do more damage, but Jesus. The light short bursts. Really? Maybe I have done this one, it's just been so long that I don't remember it. Oh, I got I hate this one. No, get out of my face. Get out of my face. You suck. These guys are the pain. Help me, somebody. Why is there nobody online to help me? Ooh. I forgot they do that. Like, I'm the only one doing this event right now because there's nobody online. I wonder how the EU servers are, to be honest. Because I'm on the US. Get me here. Oh, that was it? Okay. Well, that was a little easier than I thought it would be. Can't even see. There we go. Um. Pretty amazing. Where to next? Can it, really? Button. Can't see. It's so dark. All right. Oh, survival was good. I'm tempted to buy the division again on PC. I have it on Xbox, but I'm tempted to buy it again on PC so that I can play survival and all that stuff online because I don't have Xbox Live. And it's a lot per month for me. So. That way I could play it any time I wanted. I'd just have to start over. Don't touch me, don't touch me. Damn it. I knew they were gonna do that. I have to get rid of those bugs. The Division 2 was lifeless, is what I'll say. Careful, we 
God damn it. Can I just not be attacked? We're really doing some damage on these guys lately. And since we're 779, I think we might have a chance at upgrading our gear and really being able to do some damage. Oh my god, where did you come from? <laughs> I will say this now on stream, and I won't regret it. The Division 2 is the first game ever that I've bought that I regret buying. That's how bad it was. And I never regret buying a game. So, yeah. I wasted money. The DLC, though, I spent money on the DLC. I'm rolling my eyes right now. You can't see it, but I'm rolling my eyes because I did that. It's a lot better because there's actually story in it that's related to The Division 1 with Aaron Keener. So that's the only reason I did it, is to finish up the story and move on. <sighs> what I want to do before we go anywhere... Actually, I saw something right here. Oh, bio grenades, that's why. Inventory is full. I want to... I have no idea on that, to be honest. I'd be curious myself. I bought it half off, and then I find out that, like, a year later, it was, I believe... Eight bucks? I was like, seriously? So, I feel like I got gypped even more. Oh, uh, yeah. Not a game I would recommend. <clears throat> There's not much story there. The only thing worthwhile is the DLC that has story for Keener, and that's, yeah. That's about it. All right, so we got our upgraded weapon here. So after we do this mission, I think we're going to start doing some interview stuff and playing at the same time. Found Basha. Turns out Cass already bled him for the info. Literally. Are you a gig worker? Looks like you and me are becoming two peas in the same apocalypse. Are you kidding me with a commercial again? During a freaking... I'm going to mute every time I go into a, a cutscene. Because that is getting ridiculous. Because now I'm going to have that on my YouTube video. And that's not going to be good. <laughs> Son of a... F off. I have a little money left, so I'm tempted to buy some songs of Danheim so I can just play them without having to deal with the stupid thing. I hated this part. This is where I died a lot, too. You bleed. How do I crouch again? Oh, God. Why don't I have that on my... Yes, I'm complaining right now, and I don't care. Oh. 
I thought, uh, okay. Must be for the event only where you have to deal with the turrets. <laughs> wow. That's actually kind of funny. I wish I could, but I, like... Coop. You're gonna die there. I'm gonna take out these guys first. Well, why did you run out into the open and get shot, you dumbass? Thanks, hero. Here they come. Really? Really? Locked. Hold them off. I'll get the gate open. The only thing I want. Well, they're probably going to make a third division anyway, because it sold really well, and oh, we made money. Oh, Jesus. What I want is the Jake Gyllenhaal Netflix movie that's coming out. Ever since I heard about that a couple years ago, I've been interested... Because I like Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> he does really well. Really? I think I did pretty well there. <laughs> He's a good actor. I don't know if you've seen Spider-Man Far From Home, but that was a really good role for him. Like, he did really well. And I still need to watch uh, The Prince of Persia, Sands of Time with him. Like, that one sounds really interesting, and I have yet to watch it after all these years. Oh, sweet Jesus. Ah. Oh my god, I forgot you were there. Is it bad that I remember this being a lot harder than it is right now? <laughs> I feel like I'm... I should be, like, dying a lot. This is way too easy. Something's wrong here. <laughs> I actually have a lot of Ubisoft uh, games that I need to play. Whoops. Let's go. Oh, we have all of our ammo, but let's just fill it anyway. Um. Sweet Jesus. No, 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 no. That's right. I wanted to. Uh, why is he sliding? What the hell? Goodbye. Really? Point, then shoot? What do you think I'm doing? Aiming at nothing? Not that stupid. He's acting like I'm an idiot. Point, then shoot. Tony Hawk Pro Skater Defiance. <laughs> we got the Arctic. Now give us what we want, or 
this ends badly. We've displayed good faith by coming to you. Clearly, you have not defended this place properly and have put us in danger. The Matrix, then the script. Fine. You did well. He'll be very grateful. Be done with this. God damn it. We're gonna lose it. Ah! Ah! Oh shit. Where'd they go? I forgot to mute the music, but... Like, this goes with almost everything. Daneheim seriously goes with any situation. I want to get the Tony Hawk Pro Skater stuff that uh, just came out, the remastered stuff. That I don't know why. I used to play it, but it's not like a big, big thing, but it would be fun to play. I should probably take this. Probably should, just in case. Can I get more? Now that. Hold on, let's see. Come on down. Boom. Oops. Didn't pick it up. Gonna get in my face? Gonna get in my face? Get out of my face! Seriously? You're telling me to point then shoot? What do you think I'm doing? Twiddling my thumbs? Dumbass. Oh yeah, I saw that. He also posted that on Facebook. I follow him everywhere. Ooh, damn, that was right on. Seriously right now? Like, I'm not even trying. <laughs> you get out of my face. I can't, uh, this is where it gets fun. And this is why I hate keyboards, because I can't press buttons like I can on a controller. 
but the aiming is so much better. Err. Down, boy. Down. I will get to your comments in a minute. I'm just trying to survive this. Where are you? Oops. That was a waste. Thanks, hero. I honestly have only played probably 20 minutes of the first one. <laughs> I have it. Or I have a couple of them, I think, on you play. So I would like to play those. Oh, this is where we just have to run. Anything in front of me is what I have to shoot. Anything behind me, I have to run away from. Sounds like a plan. Let's go. We're done. Now let's get the hell out of here. God. And we're still being chased. And through the loop. Whoop. Just gotta move. Oh my god. right now. Nope. 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 Not doing it. <laughs> I don't care if I get blown up. <laughs> I forget. Can I go this way or can I go that way? Might as well go this way. Explosions! And this is where we're gonna have a big epic finale of an explosion. And three, two. Oh. That's it. I thought there was a cutscene. Yeah. Well, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> Not one death. Not one. I'm proud of myself. Where is it? Is it down that one? Oh my god. We should go back to the consulate and inform our Ashandu of the current situation. That's what I wanted to know. Thank you. I don't know why we're doing so well. <laughs> uh, season two. No. I think we have to continue the story right now before we can get any new season one content. Season three, season two. I don't like how season two is sporadically all over the place. Like season two is here, but then it goes to here, and then it goes to here. And you can't tell which one that is. I don't know. Uh, so we'll go see Arashandu. But before we do, I'm going to... Attempt to do this. 
but yeah. Give me a second here. <laughs> I have to set everything up and kind of put it side by side. Um, I didn't have any time to really do the thing that I wanted to do because the computer was broken, so... Unfortunately, I didn't get to do my side-by-side -side for this, but, yeah. Let's see, Defiance, Defiance, there we go. What do we want to see today? Uh, playlists. Um, sneak peek, snow. Across the bat, oh, across the badlands was bad. Featured videos, making of Defiance, there we go. Let's get into that. Hold on a second before I get into that. Oh, sweet Jesus, hold on. <laughs> I need to put this over here. I'm gonna mute the music. Um. I think I'm gonna do another window capture. I didn't set this up, I apologize. Gonna do another one. There we go. Perfect. Um now I'm going to trim that down a bit here. What's half? What does half look like that? Probably. What is this? That's the one that I want. Um... Oh my god, I can't even click on it. Because it's all locked. That's why. Oh, good lord. That might be slightly too large. Can you click on this one? Thank you. This is going to be awkward. Hmm. I don't know if it's going to work the way I wanted it to. Let's bring that just a little bit here. We're going to have the game playing in the background as well, so it's going to be a little awkward. Um, does that look stupid? <laughs> Let me try and do something here. This is an image. What is this? Oh, okay. I'm going to not do that. I apologize. I'm just trying to get this set up properly. Um, pictures, 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 pictures. have something somewhere that has defiance pictures but I don't know where they are I know they're somewhere. Eh. Well, whatever. I'll put this up. <laughs> we'll have that as a background for now until I can get something better. Oops. Okay. So 
So we'll open up that. That actually works, I think. Defiance is a science fiction drama set 35 years in the future. An alien civilization has shown up at Earth's doorstep. The original the creators, Tryon World, plants and are doing interviews here. Crash down on Earth and create a new terraformed planet. The world around us has changed and aliens and human beings are living side by side. This is a story that's about courage, it's about survival, and it's about the new frontier. Defiance is actually two things. One is a serialized drama for television, and the other is a massive multiplayer online game. Both properties are tied together and work as one. The game of Defiance takes place in San Francisco. TV show takes place in St. Louis, but it's a shared universe. The events of the virtual world will actually affect the story and the world of our show, and vice versa. There's never been a time when a television network and a video game company have come together from the start to create something like this. It's never been attempted before. It is truly at the forefront of immersive storytelling experiences. It's the holy grail of entertainment. The show is essentially a show about hope. There is I'm not quite sure, to be honest. Western and sci-fi element to it. St. Louis has been buried under hundreds of feet of earth and debris. This new town has been created on top of the old town. But the one familiar element is the famous St. Louis Gateway Arch is still standing. The population of Defiance is really a melting pot, and that's kind of at the heart of the show as well, which is that it's essentially kind of an immigrant drama. The show is epic and Shakespearean in its themes. It has courage, it has danger. The characters and the dynamics oh, are, are so rich, and the story is so kind of, it sounds weird, and anything with aliens in it, but human. The people in this town are aspiring to rebuild, and not just survive, but to really live in this world. My character, Nolan, uh, comes to Defiance by accident. He's an outsider and not particularly good with people. The sense of hope he finds in Defiance is, is almost like a shot of redemption. Amanda's a new mayor of the town, and she has to keep the peace amongst all these people trying to coexist together. We have some I'm noticing it's lagging a little bit, and I apologize about that. Time. The I don't know why it's uh, doing that. Special effects and visual effects teams have been working very hard on this. It's incredible what they've been doing. We are building the entire town digitally uh, thanks to Gary Hutzel, who did the visual effects for Battlestar Galactica. Defiance is going to be a different television show than anything that we've seen before. The bringing together of this alien environment with the human environment and making those blend naturally for the audience. It's going to be very exciting. Production designer Stephen Gagan is developing the look of the town. What excited me about the project was the sheer scope of it. And that was just phenomenal. Like we're building a town, which is huge, and then we're building a world beyond that. What people are gonna see when they tune in to Defiance is epic world, this extraordinary landscape that's both familiar and unfamiliar, and big action and intimate character drama. There's a big sweep to it. What we're attempting has never been done before. And that for me as a designer is extremely exciting. MMO gaming stands for Massively Multiplayer Online. What that means is you're playing on the same game space with thousands oh, of other right, players. Yeah. Online gaming is one of the fastest growing segments of the internet. I was talking industry. about the uh, We're YouTube be video. On Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and PC. It allows us to hit a huge broad market. Players enter the world of Defiance as what we call an arc hunter. They can help establish law in sort of the frontier town of San Francisco. Players will build their character, they can do some customization up front of their look, getting new weapons, and new abilities. They are coming up against alien monsters or factions that want their destruction. In Defiance, we can present the player with you know, really unique experience. The level of control that we can have over simple things like weather can dramatically affect the gameplay and the look of the game and weather. the level of immersion that players have. You have what a weather? Shooter, vehicle combat, <laughs> Wait a second. Online persistence. You can level up. The story never ends. It is one of the what most weather? online games ever created. Weather affects the game? Since when? The gaming world has been pretty rabid for more news on Defiance. Hands down, Defiance is the game Tryon's asked about the most. The experience of one is going to enhance the experience of the other in ways that are both 
overt and also very subtle. Immersive stories on two platforms that are seamlessly living together. The real crossovers happen the while the season the is going. Since we planned from the very beginning to do film. this, things like a character leaving the game and going to the show and talking about what they did in the game. You have the same vehicles, the same technology, the same flora, the same fauna. You can inhabit the world as a player that's actively moving through the world of Defiance, and you can turn on the TV and sit back and watch great drama unfold. We'll be transitioning from the real world to the game world and back again. The show and the game constantly reinforce each other, and battles in the game might change the outcome of the TV show. Mm -hmm. Big events in the TV show are immediately reflected in the game. It's just a really amazing way to have that fan interaction. So this level of interconnectivity between the two mediums, creating a sort of super product is, is part of the fun of working on Defiance. It really allows both companies to bring what they do best to the table and create something that is never done before. It is one of the most groundbreaking entertainment experiences ever created. Alright, so I was going to start another video, I believe, right after this one, so... We're just going to let those play out. Because it's on a playlist. Defiance Ooh, sets. Cool. About 30 years in the future. Earth has been transformed by alien machines. Ships are gone. A lot of our technology has been destroyed. And there is a kind of new frontier. Welcome to Defiance. Is this St. Louis? Now we call it Defiance. The first thing you notice when we get our first view of Defiance is it's this strange alien landscape. It's a town not like anything you've ever seen before. It's a really eye-popping, jaw-dropping environment. It's a hybrid between alien culture and human culture. I think our audience will be very surprised by the looks of Defiance. The key to the show visually is the juxtaposition of the utterly strange and bizarre different with the familiar of the What with the survivors trying to build this new world try to make this world into. Even though there's been a devastating war, that environment is very rich. It's filled with life. The colors that we chose are brighter, blues, some spice colors to define the hope that is in this town. We actually have a back lot the size of a football field, and we're going to build key parts of the actual town with functional sets that have interiors and exteriors. When you actually come here and start seeing what they're doing, I've worked on films that aren't as ambitious as this. What we're attempting has never been done before, and that, for me as a designer, is extremely exciting. In any successful science fiction show, you need to create an environment that transports the audience. One of the unique elements is that we're introducing a lot of alien flora and fauna. Integrating that into a human environment in a way that's meaningful for the audience is one of my greatest challenges. You all know what to do! Speaking of the flora and fauna... What you see at the end of the day should be cohesive and, and believable and real. If this event really happened, and we were making the show 35 years in the future, when we just pointed a bunch of cameras at the drama that was unfolding, this is the idea of how the Ooh. show is going to feel. I think that was a shorter one, but I don't know. Imagine an alien civilization showing up on your doorstep one morning, seeking a new beginning. This opens up so many worlds for us to tell so many interesting stories that I think audiences are really going to be riveted. How we're bringing Defiance to life is an enormous, enormous team effort. We're putting all the flesh on the skeleton. Just listening to this, really it hurts. Richly, like, some of the world. stuff wasn't implemented, and it could have been so great. We got the opportunity I don't know what held it back for the weather and everything, but the both on the writing side or the interactivity. Side. It's an amazing crew. There's an amazing the more interactivity that the MCU does, like at all costs. And I don't know. when it came time to do this show, I was like the world's biggest Battlestar Galactica fan, and I wanted that same vibe. We have a lot of smart, funny people sitting around a table kind of just throwing ideas around. Some days it feels like you're cooking with gas when you're breaking an episode. Other days it feels like you're struggling a little bit. We have Michael Taylor on staff who wrote many seminal Galactica episodes. Kevin has a great philosophy in the writer's room, which is that you check your title at the door. Uh, anyone can say whatever they think about any episode. You're always free to express your opinion. You're always free at any point in a story break to say, I'm not sure this works and maybe this version would work better. 
one of the things I was really excited about when figuring out what the visual style is going to be was getting back to that idea of an immigrant drama. Defiance is largely a handheld show, and that gives it a broken feeling uh, to match the broken world that the characters live in. But any scene that is an emotional turning point for the characters is told with absolutely static camera work. So you're aware that you're experiencing the scene in the heightened emotional state. So if I do Very some art streams, art I'm probably going to do maybe a defiance for the show uh, fan art type thing. Stunning. He's really taking the idea of an eclectic I think that would be fun. And he's really uh, I haven't done defiance fan art before. The alien cultures have their own religion, songs, traditions. He's going to be weaving the melodies from the alien songs. I think that's what I like about it is they put a lot of thought into the, the depth of a complete the races. Tapestry. And gave us backstories and really a lot of fun and we're having a lot history of and, it, and hopefully a lot of all this culture on the screen and it made it feel like a real world frontier town Holy shit. To work together live together i just thought the idea was amazing no one has ever tried to do anything this complex in a television series before the possibilities are absolutely limitless <laughs> Defiance is essentially an immigrant story set in the near future. This is a town inhabited by the human and alien survivors of a huge war that has devastated and transformed the planet Earth. The population of Defiance is really a melting pot. Cast events, the supermodels of the Voton race, and you have the Arachnids, who are a feral race. They also have indigenes who are the the geniuses and the intellectuals. Your sensoths who, who look like Wookiees, your liberata who are kind of a serving class race. Defiance has really had me use all my skills on one show. There's so many varied looks from the humans to the different alien races. Doc Yule was awesome. This way, it's like walking into the bar in Star Wars. Their eyes are different. I'm very thankful for you. The what bone structure on this changes, and it's really paradise. like looking at a completely different, not a person, a completely different being. When an actor sits in the chair for the first time with a prosthetic makeup, it's really fun to see the character appear in front of your eyes. My process starts fairly early. It takes just under two hours. And I start off by going into hair, and then I go into prosthetic, and then back into makeup. And then the very last thing to go in is the huge contact lenses. Oh, I know. And I think that's what, it's why uh, the ending, like and for anybody that hasn't watched it, this is going to be a big spoiler. The, the big bads for season three were the, the OMAC, and they had a, such a huge chance to be able to give us OMAC characters in the game, and we never got them. I'm just going to kill everything because it's going to give us more XP anyway. Ooh, shit. Oh god, that's a monarch. Stacco. I love that one. What about Jacking? I love which is cast the fun for that's all folks. Oh man, you know what? That's probably something I should record later to uh for April 29th and say that's all folks. It, it'll suck, but having it that said for for the ending would be probably perfect. Defiance are different than the ordinary cars that we're used to seeing because of the environment that they have to work in. The world of Defiance is an extremely rugged place. We've designed the vehicles to be largely 4x4s, have tougher tires, heavier suspension, roll bars, extra fuel tanks. The I mean, has a yeah, you can charger. tell how passionate, even the actors, vehicle. I mean, they're not they're just saying lines they because... To give us two vehicles. 
process of development are being paid. I mean, obviously they are, but you can see that they the are vehicle. passionate about it. They basically it. said, Andre, have a look at this. Make it a reality for us. Designing a wrap for the body, we came up with an extensive photographic treatment of nicks, scratches, bumps, and bullet holes. We were able to print that onto a vinyl product that we then applied on yeah. this vehicle. On the hood of the car, I mean, the it did spawn um, is the Quantum Break, of which was both a game and a show. Fuel efficient, so, extremely powerful. It the is the I first in a series of games that are like trying to break that, that mold of just TV and gaming as separate things. And I think they were trying to also follow some some kind of thing like um, the MCU, where they wanted to build a universe. Story set in the near future. Aliens and humans are learning to coexist together There's a on a really strange new planet. I'm just doing some side stuff uh, while some of this is going on. Nolan's an outsider and not particularly good with people. He's not a joiner, he's not a follower, he's not the cutest and cuddliest of creatures. You only see his soft side, really, when it comes to Rissa. He found her as a child. He's basically adopted her and taken her under his wing. They have a really close bond. They're fiercely loyal towards each other. What game? I wasn't even paying attention to. They mentioned a game. back and they've survived in this world together for a long time. Arissa is a complicated character. She's an alien, but she has many human qualities. Arissa is incredibly dangerous. She's great with a knife. Stephanie Leonidas was awesome. Oh, yes, Quantum Break, sorry. Let's just say you wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of Arissa. She she carries many weapons all over her body. She's ready for anything. She's a knife woman. Drop the network coming in. That arch. Is this St. Louis? Once. Now we call it defiance. Well done. They come in and they're shocked to find that this is a town where people live side by side, where aliens and humans seem to be at relative peace, and that you can actually grow up and have a real life. I think what makes Defiance unique is hope. Maybe it is possible to have hope. And See? And that's another thing, it's hope. to rebuild something in the world. <sighs> in town. I've been hopeful. This marks a kind of change for them. This is what I loved about it. It gave hope. Always travel and it from one really did and give hope. Anywhere. Out in the Badlands, uh, Nolan and Arissa have learned to survive. In Defiance, people have learned how to actually live. I'm starting to like this place. Suddenly, a lot of people she's dealing with and talking to. If I wanted, I could have grabbed your wrist, broken every finger on your hand, taken the key card to the cell which you left hanging from your belt. Before you knew what was happening, I'd already be out of this cage and separating your head from the rest of you with one of my blades. I just want to see. What is wrong with you? Nolan okay. becomes more attached to people there much quicker than Arissa does. Don't risk your life for these people. They're not worth it. Oh, some of them are. Sense of hope yeah. and defiance is, is almost like a shot at redemption. Alright, so I'm gonna do a couple more of these side missions while this is going on because there's a few more interviews in this set. And they're like two minutes long each, so. Defiance is a story of courage and survival set on a new frontier. Aliens and humans learn to live on a dramatically changed planet Earth, and they have to learn to live together. It's a great show. I wish Amanda it was on Amazon Prime so that I could do a watch party with you guys, but they removed it um, last year. Discovered this town where they have different races trying to live peacefully together. Now, Amanda. Is I usually watch it during the summer, she's so we are about that humans and aliens can live together peacefully as one. 
and three months away from when I normally watch it. I'm going to stand up to what's coming, and I hope that each and every one of you stands with me. But Kenya, what you see is never what you get. She's somebody who has a lot of secrets. Kenya is running the need want, uh, anything you need, anything you want, which is sort of a bar, hangout, gambling establishment, brothel. It's a place where anything you want you can get sexually, spiritually, socially, and Kenya is at the epicenter of all of this. <laughs> Kenya's profession complicates matters for her sister initially. You have to see these married men. But I think Amanda soon comes to accept that it's something that makes the town very happy. She would really love to see Kenya fall in love and be happy and not have to have sex for money. Oh, God. I don't think any sister would want that for their sister. They're very different, I think. That's one of the reasons they're such wonderful friends. I trust you with my life. At the end of the day, they are sisters. April 2013. Yep. Defiance is a and science fiction the game was in the works long before that, too. About so. humans and aliens living side by side. What you have done goes a this long town way represents courage and survival. It's a very tough place to live. We have two families that represent the two poles of power. In this uh, the Tars There's and the Macaulay. The Tar family and the Macaulay family. It makes me sad Rafe just Macaulay's thinking about in town. these and characters. The minds that are sort of the lifeblood of defiance. Rafe is a tough guy. He's grown up tough. He's learned how to be tough. Do not get in my way. Daytac is essentially the town's mobster. Daytac Tower is the kind of individual that if somebody is in his way, they had better get out of his way. The Tars are the most powerful. Tony Kern did really well with the Tar, uh, Daytac Tar. to be the dutiful wife. Behind closed doors, things are much different. She wields her power in more of a, a gentle and submissive way, whereas his forcefulness is much more reckless and needs to be controlled. And Stammer does control it. He's with me. Rafe McCauley and Daytac essentially hate each other's guts. Rafe has something that Daytac really wants, which is respectability. They're both rich, they're both powerful, but the fact of the matter is, like, when Rafe walks down the street, people wave and say hello to him, and when Daytac walks down the street, people just look the other way. You humans believe That's so very true. Rafe doesn't like what Daytac does for a living. He doesn't like the fact that he's a castathan, and he certainly does not like the fact that Daytac's kid Alec is hooking up with Rafe's daughter. Christine. Well, they're married. Well, spoiler, they're married, <laughs> and they had a kid. His parents would hate. I can't believe that my boy has had anything to do with these horrid, ugly-looking humans. My relationship with Alec is, is that, that possibility, that little beam of light at the end of the tunnel. That, yes, there is hope that no chance of They're sort of the Montagues and the Capulets. We'll stand that car and take back together. They're a very powerful couple indeed. Humans find this sort of thing. friction. Evil stuff that goes on in danger around every corner. It's a state of open warfare between the two families. I never did this thing. I think that should be the last one, or there's one more. We got more bulge incoming. Defiance is a science fiction drama set 35 years in the future. An alien civilization. Ow. Aliens and humans are learning to coexist together on a really strange new planet. Ow. We've designed the show in the game so that you can um I believe so and it's kind of similar yeah we create a unique social event 
thinking about it. The game of Defiance takes place in San Francisco. You have vehicle combat, but also online persistence. You can level up. The story never ends. It is one of the most exciting online games ever created. In a way, it's the first time it's, it's Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. Portals into the same world. You can inhabit the world as a player that's actively moving through the world of Defiance, and you can turn on the TV and sit back and watch great drama unfold. Seeing ourselves jump from the game to the series is is going to be a. No one starts in the game. My character and Arissa right in the frame. So the game will launch, and in the time it takes us to drive from San Francisco to St. Louis, the show will launch. Oh yeah, that that's true too. That that was a pretty cool thing. When you uh, start the game, you meet up with them, and then yeah. I think it was like a week before that the game launched before the show aired, which was cool. I gave them enough time to drive to St. Louis across country. They also had events where Stamatar would come over to uh, the game, and that was kind of during the off season of the show. And then, yeah, it was pretty cool. Uh oh. Shit. I thought about today we do a brief fun setup while at the same time exploring One second. Taxi. A really neat I don't know what that is. I'm just going to not go into that. Let's go back here. I'm going to die. Well, this is going on. Probably. Oh god. Oh god. Uh, I gotta. I just gotta go. Ah! Oh my god. Can you F off, please? It's the little bugs that are pissing me off right now. Because I have to focus, and they won't go away. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Thank you. It is one of the most exciting online games ever created. All right, one second. I will switch up our interview this thing the here. First time it's ever been done where you have two or actually, world. you can let me. The world is a player that's actively moving through the world of defiance. I think that is a good stopping point for the interviews, at least for today. Um. Oh, there we go. Perfect. And we're right back to where we were. <sighs> the enemies are... Yeah. <laughs> the enemies are something in this game. What do we have here? Ammo spikes. I think we're full on that. All right. Return the general. Or now we're over 800. Oh, shoot. We can attach a new. Um, skill to our repertoire
and oops Gonna suck not being able to play this at all. Watching it is not the same as playing it though. Yeah. I agree with that. Let's jump. Whee! I love how the engine cuts off when you're like mid flight. All right, so let's get our armor back up. Let's get our ammo filled. I'm going to mute the music or pause it for right now. Well, we go and do this. See where it takes us, because I can't remember what happens after this. Oh, yeah. So much fun. Oh, hey. Uh. I really want to thank you and the Collective for allowing me to stay here during my tenure. I couldn't have hoped for a home half as beautiful. There's no need to thank me, Ara. The pleasure is mine. Your arrival allows me to finally leave this fresh hell and return to the colony. What are you saying? The Collective is wasting time, personnel, and money on this pointless mission. The only thing I've gained during my time here is a desire to never return. Your time here was not wasted. We have shown these people that the Botanus Collective can be a comforting hey, friend. You. And because of that effort, I feel strongly that they'll give us the support we need. Our Collective gains nothing from these beasts. Like they with. offer nothing, but have no qualms about taking everything. Did Defiance teach you nothing? As one we endured, and as one we shall prosper. Ara, my sweet friend, you don't understand, but you will. I've lived among them. Even their best are little better than skitterlings. In time, you will also long to return home. If you can call anywhere on this planet home. Whoops. Good luck, Ara. You will need it. Alright, so I'm going to do this. Uh, we're going to watch the cutscenes. And then I'm going to have to take a break because my arm is killing me right now. And I need to stretch a little bit. Uh, we haven't taken a break yet in the two hours that we've been live, so I'm going to do that. We're going to do this next, and then uh, maybe switch over to Valheim. Uh, I know it's not too much of Defiance today, but yeah, I think that might be the plan. So let's go and do this. So you know who they are. My god, John. It sounds like they were dark matter. They haven't existed since- Fort Defiance, I know. Ara. Could these guys be working for your brother? He's dead. Why would you even say something like that? I'm sorry. I just... I've spent the last 15 years of my life trying to clean up the fallout from my brother. Just the thought. If I can interrupt with a less ponderous perspective, there's someone after my Arctic. And from what you're saying, they sound pretty evil. So we gotta do something. And we gotta do it like 20 minutes ago. Mm, you said it like an asshole. But he's right. <laughs> we have to get to the cell before they do. Thank you. So what do we do? My equipment was destroyed in the Stratocarrier, so I have no way of locating it. There's a young machinist in Marin. Rosa Rodriguez. Here Maybe we go. I know you said you're an idealist, Miss Shandu, but we're talking about tracking Arctic. We're going to need more than a machinist to find I've it. I've known her since she was a kid. Don't doubt this girl. Whatever. 
It's better than sitting here waiting for a genie to come along and resolve this. Let's go meet this Rosa person. That way, standing in the door looking ominous. Travel towards the eastward docks. Ah, uh, right. We do that. And then I believe it's this mission. And we come down here. So yeah, I'm probably going to call it right here for Defiance. We'll be back with Valheim as soon as I come back from my break. So, I will be back in a few. I'm just going to try and scroll up here and get this map nice and tight right here. And I'll be right back.
Okie dokie. Transition time. I know I don't have any game stuff on yet. Um, so we're going to switch over to Belheim, where we were having some fun. There's some stuff to show off now. Um, just need to open this up, change the game. Yes, I was just about to do that. And I also have to make sure that... Valheim. Update information. That should update it. Let me know if that actually worked. And hopefully we can switch our game. Hey, it wor actually worked today. Well, it worked yesterday too, but I don't know if it's going to actually... Is it going to actually go in? Seriously? <laughs> Why? Why does it not do that? That is really weird. Oh. Because I have to press that. That works, correct? Yes, we're looking good. Hmm. Okie dokie. So the command for uh, the wiki is just Valheim. So exclamation point Valheim to get to the wiki stuff that we need is all that we have to do. So it's sim simple and quick. We are on day something. So I made a little side room here so that it's a little... Oh, Jesus. What happened there? Our hub for everything Valheim. Uh, it goes to the pro progression guide, but still. Um, I hear necks outside. Yet again. You little turds, get away. I hear you. So, I don't know if you notice, there's no rocks anymore. All the rocks are officially taken out. <clears throat> Excuse me. I also have some food uh, in the oven, so I'm going to have to go grab that uh, in like 10 to 15 minutes. So, someone remind me. <coughs> Excuse me, I couldn't get to the mute button in time. Uh, but yeah, we still have these trees, which we need um, the copper and tin and all that. I took the boat for a ride as well. Um, so let's look at our map now, because we have a bunch of things labeled. Um, so this is interesting to note. I noticed that when you're hovering over things, it'll actually show where the meadows are. So this is all the meadows right here. And then it'll like it'll slightly be black forest meadows, black forest meadows. It shows meadows right here, but it's like very very close. Let's zoom in a little bit here. This is our black wa black forest watchtower. This is the tower that I was telling you about. Um, I had to mark it because this is the edge of the Black Forest. This tiny little area is the Black Forest. And it's like right next to our line. Um, obviously this is the actual home. But I think our, our border goes like right here. So it's like really, really, really close. And I point that out because there's something that I need to mention. Uh, the Black Forest is also right here. 
I found another abandoned village. I had to cross over to here to get some stuff. Um, but because here's the thing when you attack near the black forest everything gets really pissed off <laughs> and when i say really pissed off i mean trolls and that's why i put trolls and space aliens as my title for the stream today because last night after the stream there was a troll at the black forest watchtower i was cutting down trees I was cutting trees, and yeah, a big old troll came and started hit, trying to attack me. So I ran into the Black Forest Watchtower, which is made of stone, mind you, and he started smashing it. So now I have a few less stone on that uh, building, and I'm going to have to repair it at some point. So, what have I done here? Because I've been out of wood, and I can't really go over there and cut... Well, I can cut some of those trees, but it's going to be tough. So, as you can see here, there's a building being built back there. This is officially our longhouse. I just want to check for some flint really quick. We've got a good amount of flint, actually. But I want to make sure that we have some flint here. Yes, the longhouse. And when I say longhouse, I mean longhouse. Alright, so you know how this place is pretty pretty long, right? Pretty, pretty decently sized. Yeah, this is a small house compared to this thing. This is a longhouse. This is just the base construction so far, but this is the longhouse. It is massive. As you can see inside a little bit, we're going to have to repair it because... Yeah, but we've uh, cleared out some stuff. We got... You can see the differences in some of the weathered. Uh, it rained, so I have to repair it. Um, which is interesting because if you leave it uncovered, it'll weather quicker, I noticed. So we have our road leading to the back, um, the back gate there. This is where I did some of the tree chopping and got some more graylings. We have some fresh wood that fell over the fence right there. Um, but yeah. I moved everything because it was in the way. Right now I don't have any stairs, so it's a little difficult to get in here. Here we go. So this is the longhouse. It is going to be pretty massive. <laughs> um, yeah. So this is going to be a nice grand hall with plenty of seats. I took some screenshots from Assassin's Creed Valhalla of the longhouse to get some ideas on what I want to do. Uh, but right now I just want to finish building up the walls here and then we're going to get to the roofs. Croden's Hall. <laughs> yes, I just made a pun about crows and Odin. Oh, sometimes it's a little fickle. Oh, shoot. Because I didn't put that back on. So I'm going to go over to the watchtower after I make this wall right here. Um, I want to show off a little bit of some stuff that I did. Um, just because we have a little spot there now. 
even though it's not the best place to sit. Um, so yeah, we got that done. Let's get some food. We also have some honey now, so. Oh, shoot. I'm gonna need to add some more resin to these things. Okay, I'll totally do that then. We have some more honey from our bees. Uh, I'm noticing that some of our stuff isn't there. Like it should be. Um, also, you can see how this is nice and clean, but the stairs and also the repaired uh, dock here are actually more weathered than underneath, which is what I was talking about by the weathering. So that is how that works. You need to have a roof over things that you don't want weathered too much. Um, yeah. We're gonna do a couple of things with the roof that are gonna make it look interesting. It's gonna be a huge longhouse. Yes, that would that would be nice. Um, so I don't know if you can see it right now, but there's our tower, our Black Forest Tower. This is how close the damn thing is. And I'm gonna put on our spear and everything because this is where, as you can see, I have a bunch of trees down, but I can't cut them without um, pissing off the Black Forest. So. Oh no, did they break it? <gasps> Oh no! Oh god, there it is. You hear next, but... Where's this big boy? This is why I'm afraid to go over here now. We have to find a way to trap or kill this thing. Oh, there he is, right there. There's our troll buddy. Right down there. Um, he's the one that destroyed part part of this. I don't know if you can see some of the damage right there. He broke that that one in between there. So. Anything I do right now is going to piss him off. I'm also noticing that they destroyed my workshop somehow. My fire's here, but... Now I have to rebuild the, the, uh, the stuff here. Actually, let's put it back here. Or, better yet, let's put it upstairs. Yeah. That's why I'm a little worried as to what I'm doing here. We have a fireplace and all this. Um, shoot. We don't have enough room for anything. Can I put it here? Eh, that is tight. But let's see. Can we put it there? I don't know if that's gonna work. Perfect, so we have some stuff in here. I'm gonna put this in here, well, mm, things that we don't need. But yeah, I decided to make a little bit of a top spot here 